Hi, I'm Ann Gentry, executive chef of Vegetarian Times Magazine and the founder and owner of the restaurant's Real Food Daily. Now today, I'm going to show you how to make seitan. Seitan is a wheat meat. It's called that because of its chewy texture. You can buy it pre-made. You'll find it in a natural food store in the refrigerated section right next to the tofu and the tempeh but it is really easy to make on your own. And the great advantage of making it on your own is that you get to have the flavors and the shapes that you'll want. Now what you're gonna to need to make seitan is a large mixing bowl, a whisk, a wooden spoon, your chef's knife, a spatula, a Dutch oven, that's a great pot to cook it in, and your ingredients are two cups of the vital wheat gluten, a half a cup of nutritional yeast, two teaspoons of onion powder, one cup of low sodium vegetable broth, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and you'll also need again four cups of the low sodium vegetable broth, one clove of garlic, a small onion, about half a small onion, and you'll dice it, and let's go. Now we can put all these ingredients together. Now first we need to make the dough. So we'll be using two cups of the vital wheat gluten, a half a cup of nutritional yeast, about two teaspoons of garlic powder. We'll just whisk that together so that we can well blend these dry ingredients. And then we'll add the wet ingredients. We have one cup of a low sodium vegetable broth and two tablespoons of good quality soy sauce. Now I like to use my wooden spoon for this. Now what you want to look for in your dough, it's just like making bread. You want it to start to become elastic. You want it to stay firm, but at the same time you can always add a little bit more liquid. So I'm going to cheat a little with some of the liquid that we would use to cook it in. Just a little sip of that because you want to make sure that all of the flour gets moistened. So what you'll need to do is knead the dough with a spoon or your hands for about two to three minutes. And I do a little bit of both. At about this point, it's time to use my hands. So I can see now that it needs a little bit more liquid still. So again, I'm just gonna put a little here. See if that'll do it. Yeah, that's feeling much better. Now once you've finished kneading the dough, You'll shape it into one large or two small loaves. That's depending on the size of pot that you're gonna use. I'm gonna break it into two small loaves. Now it's time to cook the dough. Place it in a saucepan or a Dutch oven. Add in the vegetable broth. That'll cover the seitan. Now you can use any kind of seasonings or aromatics that you like. The onion and the garlic make for a really nice neutral base, but I also love to season with fresh herbs. Rosemary, thyme would be a great choice. This would make a really nice savory broth. Now we'll put the lid on it and we'll let it simmer for about 30 to 45 minutes. Now when it's finished simmering, you'll leave the seitan in the broth, you'll take the pot off the heat and you'll allow the broth to cool down. And this is what the seitan looks like when it's finished cooking. And the great thing about homemade seitan is you can make it into all kinds of shape. You can make nuggets like this. This makes a great seitan meatball. Cutlets that you can cut in a round shape or sometimes triangles. You can pull the seitan and you have like a pulled pork. And then you can grind it in a food processor and come up with a grounded seitan. You can find tasty recipes that use seitan on vegetariantimes.com. Try seitan satay with peanut sauce, mock chicken divan pot pie, and ultimate vegan chili.